Want to know my reason why I think chat for data is the best option for scraping content out there? Well, it's because it's extremely easy to use. So just like the name says it, chat for data, and that's all you have to do. So forget about right-clicking the website, going to inspect, finding the element that you want to scrape, and still not getting results. Well, forget about that with chat for data. So all you need is the Chrome extension, and you'll be able to get started to start scraping content. So let me give you a quick example. Right now, I'm in e in eBay, and I want to scrape this Labubu dolls because right now they are trending, and I want to import these into my website. I want to have as much data as possible. I need to know the pricing. I need to compare it. You would have your reasons why you want to scrape data, but let me show you how easy, easy this actually is. So all I have to do is click on chat for data, and I'm going to kick off this chat right here. So first off, I'm going to extract data from the current web page. So I'm currently located right here, and chat for data is going to do its job. It's going to find the content, and then I'm going to tell it what I want to grab from here. Now, that's one of the ways that you can get started. You can go ahead and just tell it in the beginning, you know what? I just need the pricing and the title for all these and get started. And it, it'll understand and it'll confirm that this is what you want and it'll go from there. So here we go. So what I want to do is extract data from the search results. So you can see I hover over this and it highlighted the section where it's going to grab the content. If that's correct, go ahead and continue. If not, go ahead and just tell it via chat that say, you know what? Um, you missed some content that I wanted for these uh, dolls that I'm searching for. So chat for data is going to search that content for you. But in this case, it got it right. So this is the first section. And then it's going to give me each one of these individual sections that I might need. And I can go ahead and remove or keep what I want. So here we go. I got the product title and I selected the title here. So I'll just hover over this and it highlights it. So it, it wants to make sure that this is what I want. So product image. Yes, I want that the price shipping cost item sold product title link. Yes. And product image link. If I don't want something from here, I can just go ahead and delete it in case I don't want to scrape that. Okay. Or if I want to change the name, just go ahead and click on the pencil button and rename this. So you have your CSV with the title that you want. This is an example. We are good to go. I can confirm the selection or I can tell it that something is missing. So for example, I can ask it to also add if it's sponsored or not. So we got a little sponsor here, but in this case, it's not something that I want. I'm just giving you an idea of what you might need in the future. So let's go ahead and confirm the selection and chat for data is going to automatically do pagination. I can automatically tell it to scrape the first three pages, not all the pages and um, all this information. You can just provide it here via chat. So let's give this a few seconds to be done to confirm. So here we go. Here is the next step. So review your scraper setup so far. So here we go. We got the start page, which is this one. We got the start field and you can just get an idea of what it's going to scrape and you got the collection range all here we go so start extracting with current setup or also extract sub page data from product detail page which is super awesome now i am not going to do this on this page i will do it on a different one because i also want to grab the reviews from inside of the the products so in this case i don't want to do that but that is possible so in this case we're gonna start extracting so i'll just say start extracting first for products only. Here we go. Let's go ahead and send this off. And I just wanted to grab these products because I'm just testing this. I don't want it to go through several pages. So let's give this a few seconds. Here we go. It is now done. Remember, we only scraped the first products. I have the CSV here and I have the XLS file like that. I mean, tell me that wasn't easy. Tell me that wasn't simple. No complexity at all. No elements, no HTML, no coding, no developer things at all. I just got my CSV straight off here. So I got my product title, image, the price, the shipping cost, item sold, product title link, and all the details that it requests that I requested in chat for data. So it's super easy to grab this data. Think about it. All the things that you can do with chat for data. Now I'm going to give you another example. I am here in AppSumo, which is a store I buy constantly from here. I'm going to kick off a new chat. I'm going to tell it to uh, extract the data and I'm going to grab the first data. Plus I'm going to tell it to go to sub page. So it grabs the reviews. So give me a, a few seconds, minutes, and I'm going to do this. So I don't take much of your time. Okay. So we finished the first phase where we grab the main details from with these products, but now it's asking us if you want to grab sub page information. So yes, I'm going to tell that I want the sub page information, but just the reviews, not the rest of the information. So let me go ahead and type in that information here. So here we go, kicking this off. 
and it's going to jump into one of these pages, locate the reviews, grab the information for me so we can confirm the next steps that everything is fine and we're good to go. So let's give it a couple minutes. Okay, next step is confirming that we are grabbing the review. So the review avatar, the username, the rating. We don't want the username, so in this case, I'm going to remove it. Uh, review date is fine, title, review content, and the detail page link. I'm not going to need that. So I'll just keep these right here. So we're good to go. So I'm going to confirm selection. Okay, here we go. We are good to go. We can go ahead and kick this off right now, but we are going to confirm this. So remember, the start page is going to be this one. It's going to start page fields. So it's going to grab the main products from the main page and then from the sub page from those products it's going to grab the review the rating the rating date etc and i can confirm right now but i'm only going to, going to tell to confirm the first two products okay here we go let's go ahead and send this off and it's going to do its job so it's going to scrape the main page plus the sub page so i mean there's no complexity in into chat for data so everything is super easy to do okay here we go let's go and extract with current setup here we go. It is now done. So we have extracted the first two products with their sub page with the reviews. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab this CSV. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and open this up. And here we go from the positive photos and on Vocado. So it's two of them. One has a bunch of reviews and the other one doesn't. So we got the rating, number of reviews, the deal price, original price. So all the main details from the beginning plus the review data. So we got the review link, reviewer avatar the the rating the review date the review title the review content and all the data that we requested just by chatting with the chat for data now tell me that wasn't easy so as i mentioned before this is super easy to use so if you need to scrape data from any source on the web this is a fantastic option especially if you don't want to get into complexity with elements html developer skills etc this is going to do the job for you now if you sign up right now they are giving you free credits so definitely do it right now link provided in the description and that is a wrap for chat for data